Okay, so I'm going to start off my March favorites with something that I don't actually have to show you because I threw the box away like an idiot. Um, I did it two weeks ago to myself, my ombre hair, and I used the L'Oreal Ombre Kits for dark hair, brunette hair. There's three different kinds of shades that you can use, which is like blonde or medium brown hair or something like that or light brown hair or I don't even know but I use the darkest one because I obviously have like really dark hair and it worked amazing I love it it was so easy I just supposed to leave it in here for like 30 minutes or something like that I left it in my hair for like an hour because I have really dark hair maybe that's why it took forever to grab on I don't know everyone's hair is different I left it on for an hour and look my hair is still on me so your hair won't fall off don't worry um but yes it works amazing I definitely recommend it the L'Oreal Ombre Kits Moving on. Or let's stick with hair because I have one product to share with you guys about hair. Um, I don't really use hair on my product like mousse or gel or like hairspray. Okay, I use hairspray sometimes. Just sometimes if I'm going out at night. Um, but I do like to use like a little bit of oil on my hair. Not too much because you don't want that like greasy feeling on your hair. That's kind of gross. Especially if you have like a boyfriend and they're like rubbing their hands through your head and stuff. And they're like, ugh, greasy. Like gross. Um, anyways, whoa. I like to use the BioSilk Silk Therapy Oil, and this works amazing. You only need like a little pea drop, like a penny size, like a dime size, and that's all you need. And you start off with the tip of your hair because that's where it's like super dead, because it's like the oldest hair, right? And you just move it your way up, and your hair looks super pretty, amazing, and healthy, and shiny, and yeah. So I definitely recommend the BioSilk. And sorry, I'm running through this really quick because this is just uh, my March favorites. It's not a review. If you want, like, more, you know, review on one of these things, let me know. Moving on, what should I talk about next? We'll talk about, oh, okay, I always get questions about um, what I do to my teeth, how do I whiten them, do I use or have I had braces or any of that stuff? No, I've never had braces before. Thank God. Not that it's bad, but I'm just gl I'm grateful that um, I never had braces. I'm saying um a lot. Whoa. I clearly haven't done a video in a super long time. But anyways, Crest 3D White. The only reason I got this, I'm not going to lie, is because of the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. If it has pretty packaging, I'm going to get it. But you know what? I honestly feel that ever since I've been using this, it's like made my teeth a whole lot whiter. And if you want your teeth to look whiter, this is a trick, you guys. Use red lipstick. <laughs> Serious. If you use red lipstick, your teeth look whiter. <laughs> but not everyone's like brave enough to wear a red lipstick. I don't understand that. I don't understand it, you guys. Just try it on. Just try it on. Um, so yeah, Crest 3D White. Amazing toothpaste. Next, what should I talk about? I have like so much right here. I like don't know what to pick. Okay, we're going to pick this. Okay, TMI. I don't care if this is TMI to you guys. I used to take birth control, and one side effect that I got from birth control is it gave me body acne, which I was like, whoa, bro, not cool. So I got off of it, but it's still stuck around. So I tried the Murad Body Acne Wash. Oh, it works out. I had it like really bad on my chest too and like within a week, I'm not lying you guys, within a week it totally calmed down and went away. Um, so I definitely recommend this and they also have like a spray and I'm really curious to get the spray because I still have some on my back but not as bad as before. Um, but my chest totally cleared up which I'm like thank god because you can see more of your chest than your back. Right? Right. Um, but they have a spray, and I'm really curious to try that. So as soon as I try that out, I'll give you guys a review on it. But the mirror, I know this is a little expensive, too. It's like... Actually, I have no idea. Probably like 40 bucks or something like that. Um, it's a little expensive, but it is totally worth it. So Murad, okay, go try it out. What else should I talk about? Let's talk about this eye cream I have from Philosophy. I don't know if you guys can see this because it's so bright outside. Summer, summer, summertime. In the Elvis. No, in Cali. Anyways, um, I hope. That's what it's called by philosophy. Basically, this is for fine lines and dark circles under your eyes. And you can instantly feel like, not the tugging, but you just feel it like working. You're like, whoa. I like to use this. Um, at night before I go to bed, but you can use it during the day if you want to go out and about. It's totally fine and safe. So, I hope, by philosophy, it works amazing for the fine lines and the dark circles. 
Next, mascara. We'll talk about mascara. Um, this one is by Benefit. It's called They're Real, which a lot of people should be familiar with it. And if you're not, psh, where have you been? <laughs> um, it's like about 20 bucks. I feel like I'm saying um a lot. I just heard myself say um a couple of times. Annoying. Um, um, ah! <laughs> They're real. It's like 20 bucks. They work amazing. Just two coats of it. Whoa, bro. It's pretty freaking crazy. But a cheaper alternative would be by Ramel. And I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's called Day to Night because that's what it says right here. But it's pretty cool. Oh, no. My camera's going to die. Okay. Whatever. Um, it's pretty cool because you have the length one. So you unscrew the pink. And there's the length. And then you screw it back. And then you unscrew the black, and then this is for uh, volume. So that's pretty cool. I don't really use the length one because I don't really see it giving me length or any mascara on my lashes, which I know that's probably like a bad thing. Um, but the mis the volume one, I use like two, three coats of it, and oh my god, it's like pretty close to the real. So if you don't want to buy a twenty dollar mascara and want to spend 10 or 11 bucks on mascara, I would say by Ramel or Benefit. Grab one of these because these biatches are amazing. Okay, next, because I need to move it quick. Next, 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 next. Let's talk about my lips. What's on my lips today, which is the Maybelline New Vivid Lipsticks. And this is 900 Hot Plum. And it's basically a hot pink. And it's really, really pretty. It's super creamy. Hydrating for the lips. It doesn't, like, dry them out or start cracking or start smudging. Well, obviously it smudges if you, like, start making out with someone. <laughs> but uh, I absolutely love their lipsticks. I only bought one, but I'm definitely going back to the store and pick up some more colors because I love it. I'm, if you guys already follow me for a long time, you guys know I am obsessed with Revlon lipsticks. I have like pretty much all the shades of Revlon lipsticks. But I think I'll have to pick up a couple of more of these babies from Maybelline. Next, what should I talk about? Oh, this I have totally been loving. It is the, I need to not do that. <laughs> this is my benefit. It's called the Pore Professional. Uh, it's a face primer which you use under your foundation and yeah I mean I guess it's to minimize the appearance of pores which I don't have but I just freaking love the way it feels on my skin it's like butter like silk and butter combined together it's amazing okay um it totally holds on to your foundation the entire day like from morning till nighttime, my foundation is like glued to my face. I don't need to touch it up or anything like that. Talking about foundation, we're going to move on to the next favorites of mine, which is the CoverGirl, the three-in-one, which everyone's been bragging about. And I just had to go check it out for myself. And I'm like, what? This crap is amazing. <laughs> Come on, you guys, say it with me. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I know you can use this as concealer as well like over the foundation layer that you put on but I don't recommend it I don't think it looks all that great as a um, concealer it just looks bad <laughs> so it's supposed to be a three one because it's what foundation a primer and concealer or something like that right I don't know whatever but I really like this foundation because it it feels really light. like I can't even I don't even feel that I have foundation on right now and it looks really natural you can't tell that I'm really wearing foundation my skin just looks flawless like amazingly flawless <laughs> okay next concealer talking about concealers right um this is my MAC which is the pro long wear line and this concealer the one that I use I don't even know what shade this is. Whatever. Who cares what shade I am? Just go ahead and grab this. I don't know how much it costs because I haven't bought this in such a long time. But this lasts super long. I've had this for like probably a year. And it works amazing. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. We were talking about foundation before. Let's get to the brush. This brush. I used to use the Kirkland brush for such a long time. Um, but I totally messed it up. I like 
just ruined it when I washed it. I know I'm an idiot. Anyways, I went out to Target and got the Sonia Kashuk, Kashuk, whatever, foundation, which looks like this, the flat head, and it works amazing. <laughs> I'm so corny. No, I really do love this kind of brush for foundation when it comes to liquid foundation. I like using this kind of a brush, a flat head brush like this. So, and how much did I spend on this? Like 14 bucks. Not bad, right? Pretty good deal if you ask me. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's talk about, oh, I just bought this yesterday and I tried it on today, so it barely made it on to my March favorites. I know. I know. This is, or here's packaging, how it looks like. It's the Physician's Formula Baked Bronzer. And you can use this wet or dry, wet or dry. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but when you apply it, you totally can't even tell that there's shimmer in it. I know, it's like so bright outside. I'm so sorry. But it looks like that. And it's so beautiful. Beautiful, like Judy says. It looks beautiful. It gives me, it looks like I, like I went tanning and I have like a really nice glow. I'm sorry, the mirror's that way. <laughs> like, I don't know. You have to like see my skin in person. Maybe I'll take a picture. And wow, it's so bright outside. Good. Ow, my ankle. I totally like sprained my ankle, so I have problems right now with my ankle. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend this bronzer, but this was like a little expensive. It was like, what, like 14 bucks or something? I'm like, whoa. But, I mean, there's a lot of product in here, so, and I literally had to use a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, so don't be like, oh my god, Physician's Formula bronzer. Let me smack a lot on here, because it's going to look like someone like punched you or slapped you or something. It's just not going to look cute, okay? Eyeliner. For the longest time, if you guys have been following me, you guys know I am obsessed with the MAC gel liners. But I found a new baby. I found a new love. And because I hate that I, a lot of people are obsessed with MAC. And it's like, okay, what else is out there that's better than MAC? Well, I love the Tarte gel liners, if I may say so. In black, of course, I use black. And that's what I've been using for a long time. And I find that it doesn't smudge as much as much as um as the MAC one. It's going to smudge, okay? We have, like, oily lid. It's going to eventually smudge. Let's keep it real. But this little baby lasts a really, really long time. And I swear, it doesn't start smudging until, like, almost the end of the day. Okay, it's about that time to take off the makeup anyways, right? You don't go see wearing makeup, do you? I hope not. Oh, time about that. Let's go. No, you know what? I'll save that for a review. I'm going to have a review on the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation, okay? So look out for that because we need to talk about that a little bit more. We need to talk. We need to have a talk about you, okay? Okay. Talking about, like, taking off makeup, I am obsessed with the Clean and Clear um, Morning Burst freaking you know, face remover, washes, whatever you want to call it. I recently bought the blue one, but I'm like up in love like with the orange one. I don't know what the orange one is called though, but I like these. I like when the face washes have um, the little little micro beads in it. I just feel like it's like totally digging into my skin even more and getting all that freaking dirt out. Um, what else? What else? Did I run through everything already? Oh my god, I'm done! Yay! <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for coming to check out my video. Oh, psh, hold on. Psh, rewind, shift back, reverse. My favorite. I love my iPhone 5, and I love my iPhone 5 case. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, my God. It's like an aqua teal kind of color on the side, and then, like, purple right here. It's by Belkin. Go to Best Buy. Get yourself one. And an iPhone 5, because it is the shishnit. Sorry, Galaxy. You ain't got nothing on my phone. Okay, that was a little too crazy right there. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by to check out my March favorites. I know I was like all over the place, but if you know me, that's where I am. Okay. If you want any more details or questions or whatever on any of these products, let me know. I don't know what the hell's going on with my arms. Anyways, let's do it now. Okay, my hands are going right here. And I would catch you guys on the next video. Toodles!